you're doing well. Right, we've got a little bit of a collective haul today for the Christmas decor. We've got Wilco's, we've got Clinton's, and we've got a couple little independent shops. Um, I visited one of our little towns. It's not too near me, it's about 30 to 40 minutes away in Essex over at Hornchurch. And I popped into a few little stores. They've got a nice little few boutiques along their high street. So yes, there is a regular store called Best Sellers. I will link that Instagram below. We go there every year. It's like a little day out. Normally we'd always go and have coffee and cake. There's a Costa up the road, but with everything going on and I'm so gutted to say, I'm so glad I got these just before because they have been closed. They was deemed as non-essential and mm, they do cleaning, they are essential. They do homeware, they do everything. They kept everything COVID safe. Um, as you went in, they had the track and trace, the sanitizers, and there's been quite an outrage, and rightly so, because they were forced to close. But if you do see anything on their Instagram, give them a call, drop them a DM. They will answer you as soon as they can because they do free delivery if you live nearby in the area within a certain radius. Please check their website. And also they do click and collect. So if you are a bit far away and you want a lot, call them up, order it, pay, whatever, and then you can go and pick it up from the store. But I need to stop rambling because we've got a few little shops to get through today, my lovely. So yes, get cozy and I hope you got your festive hat on because I oh, need to show you. I've got another one of my sippy cups. This is a Christmas tree sippy cup from Asda. If you haven't seen the haul, there was a Christmas tree, there was a lot of glassware, there was a lot of candles. Um, yeah, I will link it up there down below. You know what I'm like, guys. So yes, it's not gin, it's just water. Remember, hydration is key. Let's get on with the haul. <laughs> right, I'm gonna start with Clinton's. Didn't get too much from Clinton's, she says with a huge bag, but it does only have three things in here. Right, you know what me and mum are like for soft toys. These were all purchased prior to lockdown. I feel like I have to say that in everything, but I think Clinton's is online. I think it could be. And the day we went in, they actually had 30% off because I think it was the day or so before lockdown. We got this snowman shelf sitter. He was £10, but as I say, they had 30% off. So three quid off the little fella well it's not exactly little he just sits on your shelf like that loving life with his little hat and scarf so we picked him up for seven quid they did have mini versions of these as well i think the mini ones were seven then you would have got 30 percent off but for the price of it might as well have just got the big one and then need i say more me and mama g love a little gonk this was 10 down to 7 as well, but oh my god, look, his little face. So yes, these are probably going to go in the back room. Don't mind me, just sitting here with me gonk and me little snowman. But yes, these will go in the shelf in the back room more than likely, or I may even pop them around the bottom of the tree. Don't know which one yet, because yes, we have a two or three foot and then three no what do we have now my god i've got so many trees i can't remember we've got like a baby two or three foot we've got a slimline six foot we've got a fiber optic six foot and then i've got a snow flocked pre-lit seven foot so i'm sure i'm sure i'm gonna find somewhere for those to go and then this they had so many designs and I wanted them all basically, but I thought, no. Oh, can I not get it out of the box? Oh, I do apologize. If I take this out and I have stock of batteries, I'll insert a little clip of what this is like once it's lit. But it's this penguin crackle ball, 10 pound, obviously got three quid off. And they had these with Santa, reindeer. I'm sure they had like a little dog, like a dog scene. And it's a crackle ball. But as I say, my one I just got with the penguins. And I don't really know where this is going to go because I've slowly started to decorate my room. As you'll see, I've got the lights from the range on there. We've got a few little cushions. <gasps> Good old Mr. Grinch. We picked him up last year when we went to see the Grinch musical. And oh my God, that is what I'm missing at Christmas time, going and seeing Christmas musicals. But hey-ho, 2021. 
that will be our year. So yes, don't really know where this is gonna go to be perfectly honest because there's no room in my room and pretty much no room in the house. So if it's on sale though or there's an offer, you know I've gotta get it. So that, oh, we've even got the receipt in here. Clinton's is done. And then popped into Wilco's. Wilco's, I'm loving your little bags here. These were one pound. And I thought, you know what? They're the only ones at the moment where I've seen a good Christmas bag. Tesco's have got some, but they're like half the size. I can't get my shopping in that. So this will be one of the new shopping bags. And Wilkinson's is still open at the moment because it is deemed essential. But check if your nearest store's open because I think some of the high street ones may not be. Right. Hmm. We went in here and the thought was just gonna go in for a look might pick up a candle because there was a glade one that i've seen definitely didn't need any more decorations but yeah um here we are with a little bag later so let's kick it off i love 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 at christmas glade scents for their candles and their little poof poof you know what i mean the room spray things so the first one because yes of course i picked up more than one i picked up the arctic apple pie candle i believe this was two pound or 250 i think it was two pound down from four pound but oh my god it's limited edition and i'm just like oh that is gonna be it's gonna sound really weird having an apple pie candle but that's gonna be like my bathroom candle at the moment there is nothing i like more in the winter than having a bath having like my sweet sticky bath syrups and having a candle making the room smell like a bakery love it and then these i believe again were roughly the same price it's literally just the automatic spray that goes poof, poof. but i have to be so careful when i take the lids off of these because i always break them are you gonna work oh i've got fruit spice at the moment in my current one which i picked up from b m last month Oh my god, every time that goes off, you walk in, you're like, bam, cinnamon and orange, yes please. Right, what one do I go for next? We're going to go for this one. So I picked up, I thought this was very festive. This is called Merry, Berry and Bright. And this is just a little purple one. And I love Glades holders because, yes, after this you can get a nice chunky candles from Wilco's because that candle selection is insane and so affordable pop it in there and reuse in your holder and then of course I picked up the room spray as well merry berry and bright and this is notes of merlot berries and spice so I think that possibly could be a Christmas week air freshener I'm going to swap them out and I think that's going to be the one that I'm going to have for Christmas week. Right, I'm going to save probably my favourite one for later. Right, what few decorations did we get? Right, this guy, I believe he was £2. I mean, come on. Number one, it's huge. Number two, it's adorable. And of course, I've got a new tree. I've got a new Santa tree topper means i'll go have a new little santa decoration on there and i was just like oh once i picked him up mum was like here we go it's a downward spiral so i had to pick up more what else did i get oh i got some presents why did i get these they must have been cheap i think they were like 50p or a pound yeah they've got to be they're just little tartan presents there's not really much more to say on these and as you will have seen from the range haul i do love a bit of tartan on the christmas tree so they're just these little present boxes with the little gold ribbons and i thought for 50p or a pound i think they were 50p they was like ridiculously cheap so yes had to have them and then was, oh yeah he was adorable he was 150 to two pound we got a new little snowman. Yes, did we need another decoration? Probably not, but I can't help it. When me and mum are in that, we're in the zone and we're getting Christmas decorations, there's no reasoning with us. We just get a little bit carried away. And as I'm sitting here filming it today, it is Friday the 13th and 
Well, I've got, I've had today off work, so I'll be doing a bit of filming today. Weekend, probably gonna relax. And then, what will we do Monday? I have seen a few more garden centers I wanna go to, but trying to be logical here. I think we're gonna put the decorations up later. See if we do need any, which I don't think we will. But on the off chance, there's an odd branch or two spare, then that warrants a trip to four garden centers, right? You know me. <laughs> and then of course, with the snowman and Santa, you can't not have the little reindeer. And as I say, Wilkinson's, they are still open and Wilkinson's are online. So head over, what have you got to lose? Right. Oh, yes. I loved these. I believe these were one pound or 150. I love these. So they're like, right. I tried to describe this in the rain chalk. It's that material where it's spongy kind of, but soft. I, I'm rubbish at explaining things, so sorry. But they're just these little baubles and then they've got pine cones, berries and snow frosted twigs on the top. And I just thought these were absolutely gorgeous. They're gonna be a nice little statement. I think they will go more on the snow flocks tree. Yeah, I think that's gonna, be for the snow flocks, tying with the theme and everything. And then, let's show you, because this is this is my favourite one. Frosted candy cane. Oh my God. Guys, if you know me, hi Canon, there we go. If you know me, you will know at Christmas time, my love for candy cane, it's a little bit dangerous, I'm not gonna lie. I've got a pack of 10 giant candy canes over there from Tesco. I will probably demolish them tonight. The ones that I picked up from the garden centre, they've already gone. So yeah, kind of need to stock up on my candy canes because I can just sit there and before I know it, I will have demolished them. Their mini ones, oh my God, their mini ones are terrible. I will sit there in a whole box. There's like 20 in a box, but I literally just break them, off I go. And because they're not sweet, I think, oh no, they're good for you because they're like minty. Don't know if they are good for you or not, but hey ho. And then of course, I got the spray. But I mean, number one, it's pink. Or is it pink? Yeah, they've made it like a pink candy cane. Let's not break the top of this, Shan. Oh, right. That's probably gonna be a hallway spray. Do I want this in the hallway? I don't know. You know what? I didn't realise until I started decorating my room for Christmas how many Christmas candles I actually had. I was so worried with this lockdown that we wouldn't be able to get to Ashford to go to Yankee. But I'll insert a photo somewhere around here because obviously I laid them all out nicely so to show you guys on the Instagram. And well, safe to say we had a lot of candles, my lovelies. And if Ashford doesn't open this year, that's probably gonna be good for my bank balance and also for my room because I've not even got room in the candles now because I've emptied it out and then refilled it with Christmas bits. Yes, fabulous. And then on our last few decorations, I just realized we've got the majority of these in pairs. Hmm, feeling very symmetrical. These I think will go on the snow flock tree. And again, these were about a pound, pound 50. They're little stockings. They're so cute and I love that they're on like the rope hook because I think with a rustic tree like the snow flood, they'll really go well in here and it's just kind of blends in. And then the last two bits we got, you will know this year I have gone a little bit Robin mad. Um, it was never really a thing I got into but I think with this year we've remembered everyone who's gone and not going to lie, it's probably not been the greatest of times lately for me. So yeah, I have missed having certain people to talk to but are no longer here so i've got two more little robins and these are just gonna be so that's the front of it that's the side of it they're just little clips and these were one pound and i thought you know what i'm gonna get some little robins and they're gonna go on they're gonna go on each of the trees so we've got four trees there's gonna be at least god how much robin stuff have we got there'll be at least two or three robin stuff on each tree and that's just gonna be like a little comfort that they're still here. And that, my lovelies, is Wilkinson's or Wilco's 
and their nice bag done. So as I say, we travelled about 30 to 40 minutes to this little town within Essex called Hornchurch and we visited Best Sellers along with, I can't remember the name of the shop, I wonder. Let's see, do they have a little card? No, right, if you know the area or you've been to Hornchurch before, where Best Sellers is, you literally just head up the high street and it's the shop, two shops up from Poundland. It's like a little homeware shop. They have the most gorgeous mirrors and flower displays in the window. You can't miss it. I think it's something all about love. All about love. Home Sweet Home, is that it? Sweet Home Sweet? Home Sweet Home, I think it might be. But anyway, I've popped in there and got a few bits, so they are in here, but the majority of this bag is from Best Sellers, and as I say, I will link the Instagrams below for them. Unfortunately, at the moment, they are closed for browsing, but if you go on their Instagram, see any bits you like, give them a call, drop them a message, and I know they are extremely busy at the moment, but they will answer you as soon as they can. So let's start with the bits I got from Home Sweet Home. I'm sure that's it. Just went in there merely to have a look. And we've got a little bag. I don't think I've ever gone anywhere and got a little bag. But they do a lot of furniture. And I can't exactly come home with a new table with six chairs to fit in the hallway. So, right. I saw these and oh my god. They was down to a pound and I was like, yes, you are coming home with me. Along the snowman theme, how adorable are these? Look, he's got his little hat, his candy cane. It just hangs on his little gold. Turn around, Mr. Snowman, there you go. Just hangs on his little gold string. And I've got my snowmans, so you can go with the other snowman but i just thought they was really cute and for a pound need i say more and then what have we got in here oh did i get oh <gasps> right if daddy's watching skip forward about 20 seconds i don't think he'll be watching this because he's probably not interested in christmas decor pick this up for a couple of quid just like a little stocking filler it's a little plaque that clearly says down the pub Quite self-explanatory. I've got him um, some beers from Christmas Market, as you would have seen. Saw that and I thought that can just go in his kitchen. What did I get? Oh! Am I going to be able to open this? <gasps> yes! Right. If you know me at Christmas, I love a good snow globe. I'm not even going to admit it. I've got one, two, four just in front of me. This was £2.50 and oh, it's so cute. Look, it's just sunny and I love it because it's one of the little ones. So it's not going to take up much room. I may even take this to work just to decorate my desk. Or do I take another one? No, I might take this. I don't know. I don't know. But I love a good snow globe at Christmas. I just think they're so calming. And I had one for Halloween, which was from TK Maxx, Home Sense. One of them. And it was two skulls. And then when you shook it, it was like black confetti. Oh my God, absolutely loved it. Anyway, we're not talking about Halloween because we are on Christmas now, Shan. Right, so this bag, as I say, we picked the bag up from Best Sellers as well because I didn't anticipate on getting much, but hey ho, Shan never does and Shan comes up with huge bags. Right, let's start off with the first thing. Now, this was one of the reasons I wanted to go because I had seen this on their Instagram and I was just like, oh my God, I need that. Unfortunately though, I don't know if I'm going to be allowed this before Christmas. Because I see this as my Christmas gin glass. Mum sees it as a nice present. So we're kind of having a little debate as to when I'm allowed to have this glass. Right, so it is this gorgeous hand-painted gin glass. And can you see that? It's got like holly and mistletoe on it. It's just fabulous. And it was only £10. £10 for a hand-painted, stunning gin glass. I just, I was like, yes. When I saw it, I was like, oh my God, it was so worth it. That was what I went there for. Right. I don't know where to start because there is quite a lot of stuff and there is a lot of glitter. Right. Where do we go? Where do we go, Shannon? Right. Let's. Oh yes, I do remember this. 
So this was $2.99. This is quite extra, I think. This is probably going to sit on the forefront of one of the trees. But it's just this gorgeous big ho-ho, uh, I don't know, plaque, badge. And I thought that will look perfect as kind of a statement on the front of the tree with maybe the stag's head or the reef above it. Mm. And it's red, gold and green. As I say, trying to get Mama G to incorporate a little bit more gold on the tree. So, you know, baby steps, baby steps. What have we got here? Oh, I loved this one. This was only $1.99. It's just a cute little rocking horse on his little Christmas tree with his presents. And I thought that was quite unique. You don't really see something like that a lot. And I just loved the decoration of it. And I was like, yes, you're coming with me. Did we have a basket? Yeah, we must have done. I'm sure they used to do little baskets there. So, right, there's a big box full of baubles. We'll leave that till last. Oh, is this? <gasps> right, guys. Oh, my God. When I saw this, I had to stop myself because they had more than one design. But this was $4.99. And I'm so glad now because I can actually use it after this. <gasps> Look. Oh my God, how adorable. This is going to be my new little mug. I should probably do a video just on my Christmas mugs because I've got so many from over the years. I put an order in on Etsy a few weeks ago and I'm waiting for a few to come through on that. And now I've got this. When I saw this for $4.99, I was like, no, nope, I'm sorry. You're coming straight home with me. I mean, oh my God, I want the hot chocolates with the marshmallows. Yes, please. Yes, please. That you will be seeing in my videos from now on. <gasps> right, let's not break the handle to get it back in the box. Let's just leave it there, shall we? And then, so mum saw this and quite liked it. And I was like, unlike you, $1.99. And it's almost like this cocktail glass, but it's got a nice blue glitter stem. So I was like, not going to complain because she's incorporating colour. So we got one of them as a standalone little piece. And then what have we got in here? Oh, something wrapped up. What's this? Oh, <laughs> these were like so unexpected and just a little fad purchase. I saw them and I was like, oh my God, I need them. So these little drink stirrers were 50p. 50p. So I got two, four, six, eight, nine. And they're just all different styles. So we've got like a Blue Lagoon, a Long Island, a bottle of red, white, rosé, probably a daiquiri, and then a coffee, Irish coffee, or espresso martini, you could. And I thought, you know what, for 50p, when I'm having that little cocktail or a glass of wine in the summer, I can just put my little new drink mixers in there. And I just thought they were super snazzy. So when I saw they were 50p, I was like, um, hello, why not? And that was a little last minute purchase at the till. And then, what else have we got? Oh, I see candy canes. So it's not only my love for eating them. This was £2.50. I love candy canes on a Christmas tree. So as you can see, it's actually quite a large one. It's 20 centimetres. Is that right? Yeah, 20 centimetres. It's the white with red stripes. Quite large. With these, you could either use them on the hook or sometimes I literally just hook it on the branch from the little hole inside it. But yes, I love their Christmas trees. Oh my God, just check out their Instagram for their Christmas tree displays. Honestly, they are fab. So I love the Grinch inspired Christmas tree where it's like the candy canes, the reds, the whites, just like the funky bits. And yes, that was right up my street. And then, oh, what are these? Did I get two of you? Must have done. So, Probably my obsession for the clip-on birds come last year when we went to the garden centres and Lakeside, which is probably about 20-30 minutes from me, they have a Christmas magic shop and their trees always have the clip-on birds. And I saw them last year and I started to slowly get into them and then I got obsessed and I wanted every single colour style bird that was ever possible on our tree. But this year, oh my god, our tree's going to be super snazzy. These were only $1.99. So I'll just show you the one, but I did obviously get two. First of all, look at the feathering detail. 
and then on the actual bird can you see that they are stunning and for 1.99 yes we got two so they can go wherever i don't know where these ones would go maybe on the slimmer tree who knows we're still also debating who's having what tree so that's another thing at the moment that we're trying to decide on because i like the fiber optic but the fiber optic's nice to have in the hallway because it like when you have the lights off it's something nice to look outside in the hallway or i really want the fiber optic in here because it's got lights and the alternative is our snow flocked six foot slim one which isn't pre-lit so i think if it's in here i'm always going to have to have a light on but then i think i always have my lamp on anyway we've not got that far we're gonna have to decide i picked up another bird shock this one was 2.99 this is by gisella graham london now i have got so many pieces from this person or the company that always in the garden centers as well so if you do see anything from her like pick it up they are such good quality i mean just look this bird is she's a lighter shade of blue but i mean come on she's a little blingy bird ain't she and she's gonna be star attraction on one of the trees and then if you follow my instagram or you just know me in general this was one pound fifty i love my favorite disney film stop the video put it down below what do you think my favorite disney film is have you done it it's beauty and the beast i absolutely love that film and that's my favorite disney film always has been always will be so when i see roses even at christmas time and they're snow flocked i'm sorry I just had to get it and for 150 i wish i'd got more but i think i do have a few roses from a previous garden center last year that i picked up so i just wanted the one because even if i haven't got any at least it's like a standalone and then uh, we did so we get, huh. got a normal little robin so again this was from gisella graham london this was 199 and it's just the little classic robin on the peg so there we are hello mr robin love him and you know my love for gingerbread at christmas whether it's gingerbread to eat gingerbread scented anything gingerbread i picked up mr and mrs gingerbread oh my god these were so cute they were 2.99 so we've got mr gingerbread who seems like he's doing the cooking of the two and then we've got mrs gingerbread with a little bow in her hair and the pair of them they melt my heart that's so cute but yes 2.99 each and i was like they're coming straight home with me because i want to do something with the kitchen this year you would have seen we haven't got a modern kitchen so i want to try and shoot it up any way i can but yeah we shall see what we can do and you know you've got a lot of baubles when you need to put them in a box so let's have a look because it's all taped up we didn't want those ball balls getting damaged and what have we got in here ah, oh i wish you'd have told me i needed another ball ball to fill it up because you know what i'm like i like everything to be right let's just if i can Oh my god, this brings me so much excitement. Right. Got a few pink bits. You know, why not? $2.99. Picked up this lovely pink. Uh, it's not frosted, I'd say it's more metallic. With just really big snowflakes on it, to be perfectly honest. So we picked up one of those. Oh my god, I just I just love seeing them all in the box like this. And then we picked up two of these ones. They're almost like pinky lilac they was only 150 each and they're just like pink lilac little ball balls with silver sequins on picked them up absolutely fab and then sticking on the pink theme again 2.99 from gisella graham no one else this is again it's not so much metallic it's slightly frosted on this one but it's got like a snow scene so you've got santa there 
and he's going over the houses spreading his Christmas joy and that's what Christmas is all about it's spreading joy right these are a little bit extra for me because I was kind of like mm, would they go but when I saw the blue birds I thought you know what actually yeah they could go so they were one ninety nine each and they're just these really cool turquoise green blue studded fruit so this one's a pear hello mr pear and then of course what do you need with a pear i picked up the apple so i thought for 1.99 they're not probably to everyone's cup of tea but i thought with the blue birds that we've got they can tie in quite nice and i'm sure we have got an apple and a pear but just in plain green glitter from one of the garden centers last year so hey ho right oh, this is why i love gisella graham this was 2.99 and when i saw it obviously i'm robbing mad this year we've established that shannon i saw this and i was like no this is coming home with me how cute is that it's just this little glass heart and it's got almost like little snowflakes on it and then it's got hand painted robins i just love it and you know what i think that's so special if you've got someone that you don't know what to give them as a gift but they have got loved ones who have passed something so simple as a decoration or a little clip on robin will have so much meaning and then every time they get it out or put it on the christmas tree not only will they think of the people that they've lost they'll think of you for giving it to them so yeah anything with a robin i think is a lovely gift for someone at christmas and oh this was a bit of bling but i couldn't stop myself 2.99 it's this frosted blue bauble with all of these like daisy prints and chandelier print. I just saw this and was like, yep, I need to have you. On the note of Robins, we have another one. This was $3.99. This was a bigger bauble from Gisela Graham. But it's basically just like the heart, but on a bigger bauble. So it's got the snow and then you've got the Robin emblem. And there's one more Robin one, but we'll save that till last. I picked up this one, which was $2.99. So this is clear, but it's almost iridescent. And I don't really know what's on it. I'm making out the figures to be angels almost. Unless that's just me. I am seeing very much angels, or it could be... Oh no, it's not angels, Shannon. It's like a bow. Is it going to show with a little Christmas tree in it. Oh, that's so cute. I didn't realize that when I picked it up. Clearly I don't pay attention when I'm picking things up. And then last but not least from this haul, my lovelies, 3.99 Gisela Graham again. It's another Robin Bauble, but this time it's a gold metallic one with the frosting for the snowflakes and then the Robin. And I just thought they were so cute. So we've got one, two, three robin ball balls we've got a robin on there we've got some robins from wilco's and i think we may have had a few robins last year when i just started to delve into the robin side my bed is surrounded in christmas goodies and that means our collective haul has been a success <laughs> so my lovelies that is another haul done another christmas haul decor done yay can you tell i am so excited if you don't like excitement or you don't like christmas my channel is probably not the place you're going to want to be on the run-up or actually at christmas because i can't help it it's my favorite time of the year it's just you know what let it all go do what you want it's been not the best of years not the best of years for most people definitely not the best year for me so we're gonna make the most of the christmas period decorate the house go extra go all out get what we can online because at the minute not a lot of places are open and yeah what was your favorite bit from the haul i would love to know as usual and come on i need to remember to say this turn on that notification bell because we're on three uploads a week some days you may be getting an extra one or two and then one day before the new year well one week i should say you're getting an upload every single day so who knows and i'm gonna be doing weekly vlogmas yes i'm gonna attempt it so 
make sure you hit that bell because you're not going to want to miss anything because me and Mama G have got some lovely days, evenings, weekends planned to celebrate the festive period. So my lovelies, you know what to do if you like the video. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. We have actually jumped quite a lot. Since my Asda video, I think I gained like 45 in one day. So thank you so much. If you're a returning subscriber, you know I love you. And if you're a newbie, hi there. My name's Shannon. Welcome to the channel. Hope you like Christmas as much as I do because, yeah, that's pretty much all we're going to be having lately. So, <laughs> so take care and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.